So what did you want me to see? Are oh, you gonna pull that? Okay. Already this looks ridiculously fake. What is this like Blair Witch Project C edition? Am I, am I right? Okay, so we found a body of a blob running toward the blob. What is this? What do you make me want? The hell? This is so fake. Okay. Yeah, kid, get a stick. That's smart. Because that's what you do in this situation. You poke things you don't know. You just move? What? No! No! Damn it! You tell me to come in on my day off. And that is what you do to me. You scare me? Really? Really? No! No! Freaking sea aliens? You bring me in to show me sea aliens that are real, that are scary? No. We're done here. We're done here. What is up my interwebby type people? My name is Joshua Hamilton. This is Hamil Time, a news and entertainment show where I run my mouth about things that I find interesting. Today we are going to talk about scary ass mermaids. Earlier this week, Animal Planet hit their highest viewer rating of all time. 3.6 million people tuned into a documentary explaining that mermaids, or at least sea apes, do in fact exist. Now, although they label this a docufiction, and they do disclaimer at the very beginning that this is all based on theory, they filmed it and worded it so damn well, I actually walked away from this thinking that it was in fact real and they were lying to me. The documentary discusses Dr. Paul Robertson's first-hand experiences with discovering the newly found aquatic mammal. It then goes into detail about how they were originally descendants of ours. About 6.5 million years ago, a clan of Homo sapiens was isolated to beaches due to earthquakes and tectonic plate movement. Food was incredibly abundant in the ocean, so over time they just became more and more adapted to the sea. To the point where they began to develop fins and larger spleens, which aid in holding oxygen into the body. They actually listed two accurate examples of this happening in the world around us. One of which is the orca whale, which is a descendant of a large wolf-like animal roughly 100,000 years ago. Another one that we can physically watch happen today is the polar bear. 150,000 years ago polar bears didn't exist. Polar bears are actually a line of brown bears that began to adapt to the climate that they were living in. And in the last 30,000 years, which is not much time at all relatively, they've developed web feet and larger spleens to aid them in staying in the water longer. We are literally watching polar bears turn into marine animals right in front of our eyes. And when it comes to these mermaids you might be wondering why we haven't seen one yet and that it's just another Bigfoot or Loch Ness monster. But if you think about it it's really probable that this could be a real thing. Think about the Loch Ness Monster. It is in a lake. A big monster in a lake. It should be relatively easy to find therefore we can kind of debunk this as being a myth. If we're talking Bigfoot okay that's a little tougher but when the world is 70% water and only 30% land that drastically cuts the amount of climate that he can live in therefore it's probably also a myth. The ocean on the other hand like I said 70% of our planet. We genuinely know more about outer space than we do the ocean. Since the year 2000, three species per week has been discovered in the ocean. And they're estimating between 200,000 and 500,000 more to come. That is insane. 500,000 extra things living on our planet that we don't even know about? And before you call shenanigans on me and tell me that they're probably all microscopic little bits of nothing, nope. As of 2010, we're still discovering whales. Those are those really big things that live out there. Like the spade tooth whale, which was pretty much a myth until two of them washed up on the coast in New Zealand. Until then, only four counts of them have been documented since 1872. So it wasn't until 2010 that we even got to see what this animal looked like full size. This documentary was done incredibly well. And even if it was fake, the points they make in there are legitimate theories. And if there is a human evolutionary version of ourselves, you'd think he'd be smart enough to not be found. Mermaids have pretty much been around since the documentation of man. They're on cave paintings and walls up to 30,000 years old. 
Christopher Columbus talks about seeing them in the ocean when he was discovering new lands. And although Animal Planet did a fantastic job creating these fake videos to go along with their fake documentary, like I said, the theories are potentially real. And until we can officially prove that we really know everything about the ocean, I'm going to keep my hopes up because I love the fact that there could potentially be something out there as intelligent as we are. There's bits and pieces of the documentary on AnimalPlanet.com and I'm sure they're going to run it again because when you get 3.6 million people tuning into your station, you're going to want to run that thing again. And in all seriousness, if you want to watch something that's really well done and extremely thought provoking, check it out. I wasn't going to until I started seeing all those tweets about it and I gotta say I'm glad I did. I never thought I was going to be sitting in front of my TV watching two hours of mermaids. Anyways guys, that is it for today. Like this video if you want to. Maybe when you get done with that, click that subscribe button wherever it may be depending on the device that you are using. I hope you enjoyed your Hamill time with me, Joshua Hamilton, and I hope you stick around as I dive and splash into the world of news and entertainment. You see what I did there? Dive and splash. <laughs> I'm so finny. Anyways, I love you all and I shall see you on Monday.